Hey everyone, I uh, thought it would be a cool thing to uh, talk about the lesson browser a bit in Liberty Basic. Um, one of the cool things aside from the fact that it that it is a way that we prov provide information uh, to you in the form of, uh, for example, the tutorial um, right here, is that you can actually make your own lesson um, or you can use the lesson browser as an organizer for your code. Uh, you can do different things like that. Uh, you can use it to share code with other people. You can put code in the lesson your, yourself, make your own lesson, put your own code, make your own outline over here on the left and fill it in on the right. Um, you could put all of your code together in one uh, lesson if you wanted to uh, do that or you could break it up into projects. So for example, let's make a make a new one, new lesson file. So new file, new basic lesson. So now here's is a blank one, right? And um, if I want to add my own chapter, I can say, oh, um, let's say, here's where I'm going to put my, my graphics experiments. All right. So let's say, oh yeah, let's um, let's draw some some graphics here. And now what I'll do is I'll put another one here, a new section, um, sine wave, like that. All right. Experiments and sine waves. Okay, so now I can just say, all right, um, and I can draw something, say, yeah, and then, well, wait a minute, before I do that, I have to, Put the pen down. Okay. And I can plot some points. Right. So we'll say X. Oops. And then there's a sine wave here. Let's say. Um, hmm. One hundred plus sine of x times eighty. Oops. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Okay. And let's try that. Oh, what did I do wrong? I got an error. Let's try the light light debug here. Oh, it didn't draw anything. Oh, because I should have made it stop. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I divided that nearly enough. Okay, that parameter needs to be divided by a number first of all. Like a hundred. Try that. There we go. We got something. So a little bit less. Let's try dividing that by twenty-five, and we should be able to get a full curve in there. There we go. So there is an experiment. 
make a sine wave. Now that's saved, right? Now all I need to do is make another one. Well, let's, what we can do now, this is kind of fun, is make a copy of it, right? And make a new section. And we'll do it in color. Colorful sign. All right. Let's do this one in color. So we can change the colors, you know. Got got these different uh, different dots. So let's just pick a color. So sign, and then color. And then we could have a um, string with some colors in it. So uh, red, blue, green, like that. And then um, X mod three plus one. That doing that. Now, if you look real close, you'll see those little tiny, <laughs> little tiny dots. Let's make it a little bit more obvious. So this is an experiment, right? So with uh, that, we can set the size of the pen. So eh, three, that ought to make it clearer. Something's going on here. There we are. You can see the little dots in color. That's cool. So you can, this is sort of like your little project book, right? And then, oh, maybe you want to play with files. So let's make another chapter, files. Okay, oh, maybe actually let's, um, let's adapt one of these things here. And what we'll do is we'll take this code and we'll adapt it. We'll use it to generate a file. Do something clever. So make another one here. Okay, so now we're going to generate a file with drawing instructions for sine wave. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll take the code that we wrote over here, and instead of writing them to a window, we'll change this to a file. All right, so we'll run that. There we go, we generated a file. If you want, we can open the file, take a look at it. The file will be saved in the same place where the examples are saved by default. So all files, date, modify, here we are, sign.txt. So like that, see what it looks like. Okay, these are all the commands that you would send to the, the graphics window. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna read the file. We're gonna write another program that reads the file Okay. Okay, make another one. Write 
like this is going to be really easy. Read the sign dot flex file a line at a time and draw it. Okay, so that's easy. What we do is say open sign dot input as and we also want to open the window okay and now basically we want to say while the end of the file Zero. All right, and then we want to say line input and we'll call it a command. And then you say print. That's the end of the loop. And then you say Make it stop. Let's try that. We're reading the file and we're displaying it into the graphics window. Very cool. So you get the idea here. You have a um, personally useful, uh, practical way to use the uh, the lesson file. Let's save this. Give it a name. All right, my projects. Okay, there we are. And you can open that anytime you want. It's going to be in the most recent list here, but you can just say file open. And it will be there uh, like any other file. You can put as many programs in there as you want. You can share that file with your friends. You can um, go to town with it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.